guys, this is Adam Rudd. Uh, in this part 2 of my Fusion tutorial set, I'll be going through the basic UI alterations you guys should be aware of when uh, working with Ofusion. But first, uh, I want to go through with you uh, what Ofusion actually is. Uh, Ofusion is basically a plugin for 3D Studio Max which emulates Ogre within a Max viewport. Uh, I'll be using the Community Edition, uh, version 1.6 and Max 8. Uh, basically, Mm, Ofusion is great for games, um, the creation of it, that is, of course, um, and it basically shows you what everything will look like in real time without having to, you know, boot up the game, and uh, testing, you know, tweaking is a fairly big phase, so it, it eliminates a lot, a lot of uh, loading time and all that. Okay, so um, in order to show you what the UI has happened, or what's happened with the UI, I'm going to have to put some, some objects in the viewport. Now, I not really want for the teapots, so I'm going to put some boxes in, right, um, just whatever size, this is basically just a demonstration, um, makeshift staircase. Okay, um, now basically I'll right click um, on perspective, and I'll go to views, and extended, um, and you guys can't see it, but I'm going to uh, Ofusion viewport. Basically, it's going to take a little while to load, and um, you get an Ofusion sort of window in here. Now, I'll go through that with you again on this top view, and uh, see that's grayed out? You can only have one uh, at a time within any of the viewports. I'm not sure if they're going to change that, but um, I kind of like it like that. Okay, um, this in here is now uh, what you would see in the game. Um, obviously, you know, shaders and all that might work, might not. Um, I've had a go at some shaders. It works sometimes, it works differently with others, um, so I'm not going to touch shaders at all. Um, <coughs> this is basically just the core of it. Okay, um, I'm going to change this to uh, perspective, and I'm pushing F3 for a uh, shaded face. Um, so basically, you've got the uh, Ogre view down here, and you've got the Max view up here. Uh, they're fairly similar. As you can see, um, Ogre doesn't like rendering color much. Um, I'm not sure if, you know, um, if it's much of a problem, it could just be the vertex colors or, or whatever. Um, I haven't really experimented with it much, so I'm not going to go into that either. Um, basically, same navigation, hold, uh, hold alt and, um, you know, rotate with middle. Um, dollying in and out is fairly okay as long as you hold alt and control. If you click in with your middle mouse button, it gets a little bit fiddly when working on scale like some games have to work on. Um, okay, so um, as you can see, uh, there's no shading uh, because we haven't added any lighting. Uh, so what I'm going to do is add some lighting. Um, we'll add like an Omni maybe. Okay, um, you can see that the, um, the Omni's been added in the Max viewport, but nothing's happened in the Ofusion viewport. Now, in order for this to work, you have to actually um, go into this window here. This, uh, sorry, the Ofusion drop-down menu, and um, go to update, right? Now, Max 8, um, when using Ofusion, is prone to crashes, so I don't recommend that. What I recommend doing, even though it is longer and annoying uh, at times, I still, it saves a lot of work, so I recommend you do this. Go to perspective, right? And then go back into um, your Ofusion viewport. Now, if you're feeling, you know, um, feeling lucky, you can go uh, just update, um, update selected will update the uh, object you've selected. It won't update the light you've selected, it will just update the geometry you've selected. Now, uh, okay, as you can see now, it is lit. Um, you can get it to do pretty much uh, whatever you want. Now, it's, it's sort of become aware of the light. You can move it about and it will track it with it. Um, so there you go. Um, what else? Basically, uh, You've got uh, update, which I've just shown you. Update selected will update uh, certain geometry. So say I um, perhaps um, add a edit. Actually, we'll just edit the polygon, right? Convert to editable poly, um, and I'll just drag this up here and just turn it off, and then convert again. Okay, um, you notice that this moves. Um, that's just an Ofusion thing, hey. But you'll notice now that um, the polygons are different now, um, and Ofusion hasn't figured out that you've altered the geometry of the of the polygon um, of the cube. Sorry. 
So basically, you have to do the same sort of thing. Uh, this is where update selected comes in handy, um, because you don't have to reload the whole scene. Sometimes big scenes get, uh, they take a while to reload. So um, it's, it's a nice little quick thing. So now it's figured out that we have um, altered the, uh, the cube, or the primitive, we'll call it. Um, and um, yeah, everything's sort of huggy-dory. It, it's re-figured out the lighting and, and all that. Okay, um, what else is there? Okay, uh, you can... Viewport. Okay, we'll go into Viewport. Right, um, I haven't really dabbled in this uh, much. I imagine this would be Viewport configuration, so if you're going to have some issues with, um, you know, dolling in and out, you could probably play with that. Um, basically, I'm just going to show you the core, the things that I felt were really important. So, um, background color gets an issue sometimes. Um, basically, um, we'll switch to like a, a bluey sort of color, um, just so I can show you. That gets really handy when you're trying to find small objects you've misplaced. Uh, show lights on and off. Yep. Um, you'll notice in these uh, viewports, lighting is sort of an axis. Um, no matter how many lights there'll be, there'll be more axes. Um, I can show you that in a tick. And um, settings, you can save the settings if you like it. Um, debug ref scale. That's your lighting scale, basically. Um, okay. So, um, clear scene before updating. That's more of a... Um, what that does there is uh, if you want to do uh, an update, um, another another way I was told to update without it crashing is uh, if you go uh, clear, which will clear the scene of anything. It's still there, but it's just wiped the memory. Um, and uh, basically, you go update, and it'll, it'll, it'll snap back. Um, so basically, if you, if you add this, it'll sort of do the clear and update automatically. Okay, um, auto-update meshes. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I haven't really played with this much, so yeah, um, go nuts with that if you want. Um, what else is there? Okay, uh, we'll go back into here. Oh, that's about it. Um, okay, we'll go to scene. Okay, um, Background color is there as well. Ambient light. Uh, you can change the ambience of the lights. Self-explanatory again. Uh, scene manager. I haven't played with that, so I don't want to tell you anything about that. Um, okay, shadows. Um, if you want to add shadows, um, I haven't really got this working in games too much, um, but if you want to add, you know, a shadow in the Ovision viewport, um, you can do that fairly easily. Uh, Ogre seems like a pretty powerful um, engine, um, so it can, you know, generate shadows on the fly uh, without much issue. Um, so, I mean, once again, I've added a plane. Um, Ovision doesn't know that yet. Uh, so we'll just go update, okay? Um, it's pretty bright. I might change the... Oh, I can't change the color. Okay, if you apply a texture, it will change color, but I'm not going to apply textures this time because I just want to go through the basics with you. Uh, shadow technique, uh, you go stencil, maybe. Stencil modulative, okay. Uh, nothing's happened because you haven't selected uh, the light and told it to cast shadows. Whoops, sorry. Okay, there you go. I just turned on shadow map and uh, cast shadows, and there's your there's your shadow. And um, you can have a play with that. I don't know. This doesn't really work at all. It's really just a, um, a shadow map. Uh, but you can play with these um, the shadow techniques. Um, you know, stencil additive, modulative, additive. Um, yeah, you can get some pretty interesting effects. Um, and shadow size, shadow color, um, all that. But yeah, just have a play. Um, yep.